Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Morius and I make art tutorials that are easy, fun, and accessible for everyone. Today we're going to be doing an easy shiny bow tutorial. So today I've drawn my um, image on a Strathmore 400 Bristol paper. It's a nice heavyweight paper. It can take a lot of layers of graphite and you can also erase really easily and the paper doesn't get damaged. I want to stress that the right paper for whatever medium you're working on is so so important. When I started drawing I would just use whatever I had, copy paper or whatever I had around and your drawings will come out so much better if you use the right paper for the medium that you're working with. Now I use the Derwent 9B through H pencils. I like to have a nice range of hardness in the leads. So an H pencil is your hardest lead which means it's going to be the softest value. So you're going to get a really soft value and if you want a strong value out of it, you have to push down really hard on the paper and we don't want to do that. So it's really important to have a nice arsenal in your toolbox. Um, so I would recommend at least having an HB, a 2B, a 4B, and then something um, darker, like at least a 6B. I prefer having the 9 and the 6 in my set. Um, it just leaves you a darker value without having to press down so hard on the paper. When you press down really hard on the paper, it leaves an indent. And then when you try to go back over that area with more graphite, um, it won't come out because you've left an indent there. So I really recommend having um, a nice range of pencils in your set. For my beginner um, followers here, it's going to be a lot easier for you to take it section by section. So in this case it's easy because with the bow you take each little cone one at a time and you can just follow your reference and go in and put your darks and lights in and blend it out. And don't worry because you can use your eraser. I use um, a couple different erasers. I use a Tombow mono eraser on this piece and I used a kneaded eraser. You get different effects with um, both of those tools, but I like to have them. The Tombow Mono Eraser is a small point, so you can get into like really small areas. And your kneaded eraser will pick up just a small amount of graphite at a time, where that's helpful if you want to still have your mid-tones um, and pick out your highlights. For my reference image, um, I just took a picture of a bow and I use that and I use an iPad and the iPad's always sitting like right in front of me so I can look right up at it as I'm drawing and you can blow up little areas um, if you want to see a more detailed uh, area of the bow. Um, I just like having that in front of me and I keep referring to it throughout the drawing. Now you can come up with some other reference material. There are some free and copyright free sources, Unsplash, Pixabay, and Pexels. Those three um, all have copyright free images that you can use for your drawings and you won't have any copyright infringement, um, which is nice to use, but if you can't find a reference image, then use something that you have at home that you can just take a picture of with your phone or your iPad and use that. I'm always looking for something to draw. I'm going in now with my ruler and I'm just tightening up all my lines and um, my highlights and lowlights and um, dark areas and just cleaning it up a bit. Um, and you'll see I have a tiny little ruler which is really helpful to um, have. It's not too bulky to move around my drawing, um, which is nice to have. Um, but you can use anything. I just prefer having something small because it's easy to maneuver around the drawing. 
and I'm just going in now and kind of cleaning up my lines and I'm going back in with my eraser and my blending and you'll see uh, when you look at your reference image what you need to to do and like I said just take it little section by little section and you'll be all right if there are some things that you'd like to see um, me do a tutorial on please leave me a comment please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the latest content leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up and you can find a link below for all the materials I use today and you can use what you have and then as you can afford to buy some better art materials then go ahead I, I always try to give you suggestions as to to what will help you improve your drawing um, and pencils are not that expensive so I really recommend getting a nice set of pencils if you like to use graphite um, I use many different mediums and you'll see when I do my tutorials I have some pastel tutorials coming up I have some more graphite things coming up um, but it's really helpful to have um, some decent art supplies and pencils like I said are not that expensive so you can get yourself a nice set and they will last and you'll see I'll have some little stubby pencils that I use and then I have a little holder uh, that fits the little stubby end of the pencil and so you can really use them until they're down to nothing. Um, and try not to use the point of your pencil so that like when I was talking about indenting the paper, if you use the point of the pencil, you're going to indent the paper. Or if you kind of go on the side of the pencil a little bit, you will just put that graphite down and not really scar the paper where it will leave big marks. If you guys have anything that you'd like me to do a tutorial on, leave a comment below and I promise I will get back to you. Um, I have a lot of things planned and coming up and uh, I am new to the channel. I'm having a lot of fun doing this and I'm hoping that I'm being clear and concise and that you're enjoying my content and you're following along with me. Um, I'd love to see your work. and. Leave me some comments and I promise I will get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today.